doesn't love a big talent? Well, the Euros are full of them, and today we'll go through the biggest talents under 21 who've been selected for the national team at the Euros. We're not gonna rank them, but we'll leave it to you guys to tell us who you think are the three biggest talents in the comments down below. And remember that if you want a shirt with one of these guys' names on, you can buy all of the Euro 2020 shirts at unisportstore.com via the pop-up on your screen right now. Let's do this. Now, if you haven't heard the name Jude Bellingham, I'm not sure which rock you've been hiding under. He's 17, yeah, 17, and already bossing it for Dortmund. He's great in the tackle and gets in the way of a lot of attacks, but is also more than capable of going forward and creating something on his own. And the most impressive thing is that Bellingham seems to have forgotten that he's 17 because he plays with the calmness and confidence of an experienced midfielder. If he's this clear of injuries, this guy will go far. And you can quote me on that. Another young player I love to watch is Jeremy Doku from Belgium and Rennes. Now, he might not get that much playing time because Belgium are stacked offensively, but Doku has the full package to become a top-level winger in the future. He is ridiculously quick, has amazing feet, and seems to be able to dribble around even a couple of defenders with ease. And the thing is that he seems completely unimpressed by who he's up against. If you're a defender, Doku will try to beat you. 19 years old and one to watch. Then there's Bukayo Saka from England, who's also 19 and has established himself as an important player for Arsenal. And that's because that, apart from being a quick player with a solid cross on him and the ability to beat a man, Saka is also a pretty smart player because he's done well playing out of position as a wingback and generally seems to adapt to new situations well. And that is an ability that goes way beyond his years. We then look to Germany and 18-year-old Jamal Musiala, who's another example of a young player who oozes confidence and calmness. He's got a silky smooth touch in the ball, great close control, got a bit of pace on him, and he can dribble. And with ice running through his veins, I wouldn't be surprised to see him coming in and doing bits for Germany either as a central or an attacking midfielder. But it's not all attacking talents. There's also 18-year-old Nuno Mensch from Portugal, whose defensive game makes him one of the most exciting left-back prospects in the game right now. He's got a great eye for interceptions, runs well with the ball, is really fast, and if he can improve his attacking output a little bit, there's bags of potential once he gets a bit more experience and tactical awareness. Very exciting player. The same can be said for Thomas Suslov from Slovakia, who's a 19-year-old right winger and a really exciting one at that. Suslov has that special something about him where he doesn't have to do skills to beat a man. He just glides past with the ball glued to his feet. And with a good eye for the pass and the ability to somehow always get involved in play, he can be very interesting if he bulks up a bit in the future. Intelligent passing is also something that can be said for Mikkel Damsgaard from Denmark. He is 20 years old and one of those players who constantly likes to be involved. His passing is great and Damsgaard can operate in most attacking situations due to his intelligent movement. And his playmaking abilities is a big reason why a lot of bigger clubs are looking at the Sampdoria player. Finally, we have two young chaps from Spain. The first one is Eric Garcia, who's a leader despite being just 20 years old. He might not have the same amazing tackling or aerial dual stats as other young defenders, but Garcia is imposing, commanding, and extremely intelligent in his approach. And that attitude and mentality is something that you just can't teach. Give this guy a few years, and he will be a nightmare to face. And, um... Speaking of nightmares, I'm pretty confident that Garcia's compatriot and Barcelona teammate Pedri won't be fun to defend against. I mean, he's 18, but already defines the term silky smooth on the ball. And because he's so great at finding empty spaces to get the ball in and turn, he's always dangerous. Because once he turns, he's got an incredibly sharp pass on him and an eye for his teammates. So if he keeps developing, I'm pretty sure that Spain will have the Pedri fever in a few years. So there we go, my friends. 10 very exciting young talents under 21 to watch for during the Euros. 
And that's even without listing the players who just turned 21, like Sancho, Havertz, De Ligt, Kulusevski, Elma, Joao Felix, and many more. But which three talents are the biggest? Let me know down below. Don't forget to go and buy a Euro 2020 shirts from Unisport via the link to your right, and then go learn how to improve as a footballer in the playlist in the bottom of your screen. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.